Happy New Year Floss Tube. This is Apple from Who's Your Apple X Stitch. Today is January 12th, 2021. Excuse me. And I am here for floss tube number 25. I will be showing two FOs and I will be doing a whip braid. I hope that everybody has had a fantabulous new year and it's all just going swimmingly for everyone. So let's see. Let me start with the, the two FOs because there's only two of them. Uh, the first one is um, JBW Designs Scandinavian Christmas. And the call for was to do it in some reds. It's kind of hard to see, maybe maroonish red. And so I stitched this on, and I have a list here. 32 count color and cotton pink topaz. And the floss that I chose was um, General Arts Great Fizz. You see that? It was it was a pretty easy stitch. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. It's one of those you could pick up and just do one little motif and feel like you've accomplished something and set it down. I really, really enjoyed that. And that was my first JBW design as well. My other FO is probably the one that a lot of people finished on January 1st. Uh, Stitch in Mommy's Temperature Tree. I did mine on 18 count Ada in Pewter Color and Cotton. And here we go. Here we go. Um, in case you're not familiar with Stitch in Mommy's temperature charts, each uh, branch represents a month, and each leaf on that branch represents a day. And the color of relief is determined by the high temperature of that day. That was, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, she has, it's still in her Etsy shop, absolutely. And um, she now has the new temperature typography, which you'll see here soon because I did, I did start that one. I actually won it on her channel when she first released it. And so I started that on January 2nd. So let's get into the whip parade. I hope this won't take us too, too long but let's give it a go. I have the things in my bags. I've got them unzipped so you don't have to listen to the zip, zip, zip. Uh, the first one I have is Jardin Purvey's Red Christmas. And let's pull it out here. Maybe this wasn't as organized as I thought it was going to be. And every one of my things, I put a little card with the information on it. Um, it's on 32 count Belfast linen and cream. And this pattern actually came uh, with a green conversion. I don't know if you can see that down here. And so I did the border. Oh, that's kind of covering me up, huh? That's okay. I did the border. And I have to be honest, I absolutely love stitching on this linen. Linen's a fairly new thing for me to do. I haven't done very much on linen at all. And I like the way it feels in my hand. As a matter of fact, as of late, most of, I would say, 90% of my stitching is in hand instead of a, in a Q-snap or a hoop. And the linen feels so, so nice in the hand. So I'm just going to put them all back in their bags and just kind of put them to the side. I'm not going to go through the whole putting them together in order to save time. Um, my next one is called Merry Christmas, and it is by the Cottage Garden. And I'm doing this on 32 Count Picture This Plus in Mercedes. And I don't have a huge start right now. I just got the little snowman started. It's very cute. He's a happy little fella. I'm just going to put the things on top and put it back together later. Um, the next one I have is probably one of my oldest whips. It's from 2019, so when I say old, 2019 is old. And it's Patriot's Helmet by Boston Needleworks. My husband got this for me for Christmas in 2018, I believe, because I'm a huge Patriots fan. And I'm doing this on 14 count pole stitches in Mummy's Curse. 
and this is what I have done. Not a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm contemplating actually switching this to linen. I haven't fully decided yet, but I kind of feel like I might enjoy the stitch more if it was on linen. Uh, my next whip is one that I'm doing for my oldest brother. And uh, it is called American Flag by Unicorn Light Designs on Primitive Hair, 30 Count Linen, and Constitution. This is what, let's see, let me get the glare off here. This is what it looks like. He is a Navy veteran as well as my niece, his daughter. And so I'm actually going to be putting their names and dates of service in there. Um, and his father was a Marine veteran, so I'm going to put his name there as well. I just got to find the up side. Oh my goodness. There we go. This is what I have done so far. I don't have a lot, but I got a, I got a pretty good start. I think when it's done, it'll be really, really nice. This is the first time I've used the Primitive Hair Linen. And it gets really wrinkly but nothing that can't be fixed. Um, my next one is Portrait of Antique Vines. It's a very tiny Mirabilia that I've done on 28 count picture this plus in Moon Glow. And here's what it looks like. It's tiny, it's adorable. It's out of this very tiny little Mirabilia 25 sorry, 25th, 25th anniversary celebration. And I've got everything done except for the back stitching and the beading. It's absolutely adorable. I am um, participating in WhipGo and she is on my WhipGo board. As a matter of fact, she was pulled for January. So I will be getting to her pretty soon, I hope to get the beading and the backstitching done. Uh, my next one is, it's called Christmas Sampler by Lizzie Kate. And I'm doing her on, oh gosh, um, Fleur and Cotton's 32 count Joblin in pistachio. And honestly, this is what I have done, Bethlehem. I love these little sampler type things. You know, when you work on a big project, it's nice to have something smaller to work on. And I mean, I'm the kind of person who I just work on whatever strikes my fancy at the moment. As a matter of fact, like for the past couple weeks, we've had the daily 30 challenges, which is a closed group, by the way. And instead of looking for what I had to meet the challenges, I just picked one and I've been working on it and trying to fit it into the challenges. So you'll see here, I have one pretty soon coming up that I have fit into most of the challenges. Um, my next one is one near and dear to my heart. It's called Henry the Eighth, and it's um, patterns by Bothy Threads on 32 count Joblin and Color and Cotton Alabaster. Here's what it looks like. It's got all of his wives and all of his children in their titles. And all of the stitching done, I have left to do the back stitching and the beading, which I've also put this on my WhipGo board, so we'll see when this pops up. But here is my progress so far. There we go. And as uh, most of you all know, I am a huge Tudor fan. So I've got more Tudor projects on deck, so to speak. But I kind of feel like I want to finish this one first. We'll see. If it gets pulled soon and I get the back stitching done and I get the beading done, then I'll be starting my other one. However, if it doesn't get pulled in the next couple months for Whipco, I'm just going to go ahead and start it because I'll be able to help myself. Uh, the next one I have is uh, Ink Circles 99 on 32 count picture this plus ale. And this is an older one. This is a lot of people have done this you know, in the past, but can you see? There we go. It's 99 bottles of beer. Each bottle represents an actual beer that's out there in the world. 
And I've done this, let's see here, I've done, I don't know, three rows? Three and a half rows. Let's see if I can fold it here. Ah, folding over the wrong way. There we go. I really thought that when I started this, those beer bottles would be just a breeze to knock out. There's a lot of color changes in them, but I'm still enjoying the stitch. I mean, that's the point, right? Just to enjoy the stitch. And that's what I've been doing. Uh, next I have, oh gosh. So here's the thing. I am looking behind. Uh, in fall of 2019, Gary of uh, Sunshine Stitchers slash Gary on Toten Bags did a sale of an Autumn Quakers. And then, you know, in uh, December of that year, they started the Winter Quakers. And then last year was the spring and the summer and still in the winter. For whatever reason, I lost my, my desire to do it. And I still have the summer and the spring ones that I have yet to start. But here's what it looks like. Winter Quakers by Rosewood Manor. And, oh goodness, here we go. Oh, I have it on 28 count picture of this plus a dwarf, which is what came in the kit. And I am using the call for Baldoni flosses. And is this up? This is, is this up? This is up. Oh my goodness, this is up. Sorry. And this is where it's at right now. I have a long way to go. Luckily, there is, since I've already missed the deadline for all the other Quakers, I have no time frame in which I need to, fit, to finish it. Just finish it when the, the fancy strikes, right? Uh, next, I have, let's see, I've where did I see this? Sammy J. Stitches was working on this. Was it last year or the year before? Anyway, it's called World's Postage Stamp by Soda Stitch. And in, I'm doing it on 20 count summer sky mystery fabric. I started in July of 2019. And the fabric, hmm, I don't know who makes it because I bought it at Keepsakes when I went to StitchCon in 2019. And there was no, like, it didn't say who it was by. So I'm just going to call it Mystery Summer Sky. Here's what the pattern looks like. And I've, I mean, I've made significant progress, I believe. Let's make sure the needle doesn't jump out and tack. Let's see if I can hold it back far enough. I'm going to have to scroll it here. I've got the basic outlines done. And I particularly love this one because my husband and I love to travel. And we've been to quite a few of the places on this. So I'm actually going to turn this into like a sample. I'm going to put the dates underneath the places listed of where we've been. Just kind of as a memento of our travels. And hopefully when the world opens up again, we'll be traveling again. Uh, coming up next, I have... By the way, let me show you this. This is not cute, this Outlander bag. It's, it's by um, So Much to Love. Isn't that beautiful? I love Outlander. And it's going to start, when is it starting? May, the new season six. May 6th. And this one is called Christmas Eve by Joan Elliott on 28 count pole stitches in Daybreak, which is the called for fabric. I happen to have it in my stash. This is what it looks like. And I recently saw one of the Shady Tree Stitchers, I believe, is doing this. If you haven't checked them out, they're just, they're great. Check them out. And I don't have a huge start. I do have, I do what I usually do. I have the border done. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with doing the borders first of things. So this is where it's at. It's the border. And it matched up perfectly, so that makes me super happy. It's always a blessing when your border matches up when you get to the end corner of it, right? And then next I have 
It's by Glendon Place. Um, Phantom Plantation. Isn't that beautiful? And I am doing this on 20 count Lugana, excuse me, Ugana, Ugana, Lugana, in Under the Sea Fabrics in Avalon. And I've never used Under the Sea Fabrics before. And it's been a while since I've worked on this. You can tell because it's actually in a hoop. I got a little bit done. Um, definitely been a while since I've, I've worked on it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in a hoop. Um, so that one's that. Oh, goodness, I'm hoping my pile doesn't tip over here. I'm fairly close. Um, this is one that's actually on a timeout right now. If I can find my fabric here. It's United States Navy. It's the um, seal, the Naval Navy seal which I'm also going to be working on for my oldest brother. But I want to finish the American flag one first that I'm doing by Cody Stitch, Cody Cross Stitch. And I'm doing this on Vintage Needle Arts Silvery Star. I just I don't know where it went. I had a card here. Hmm. Each one of my projects has a card. So, oh, here it is. Just so that I can remember. And I'm not fond of this fabric. It's very kind of a stiff Ada. It's not very fun. It doesn't feel nice on the hands. And this fabric's it's white on the back and colored on the front. And maybe that's why it's so stiff. And that's just kind of... I don't know what's going on with the threads here, but there we go. That's kind of what I have done. Oh, you know what? It's wrong. It goes like this. Because that's a shield in the middle. That's been on timeout for a little while, and it's probably going to stay on a timeout until I finish the flag. Because I saw that, and I really kind of wanted to get that done. Uh, next up I have... Okay, so I'm behind on this one, too. This is what happens when I join Sal's. I just... I get behind. So, this one is... Snow Village, and it's 11 parts, and one part came out, I think it was each month for 11 months. It's adorable, and I love snow, and I love snowmen, so you would have thought I would have kept up on this. No. And I am doing it on, um, the Snow Village is by Country Cottage. I'm doing it on 16 count French Country Rain, and it's a very soft, like, Ada, super soft. And I've gotten two parts finished so far, starting on the third. I don't know, can you see that? Here we go. Snowmen are just too cute, too cute for words. I hope to have, I hope to have this one done by the end of this year, but I won't tell you what my grandma used to say about wishing. It's, it's not polite for a floss tube. Bless her heart. My grandma used to have a lot of sayings that I used to roll my eyes at when I was a kid. Now I find myself actually saying them. All right. This is a third restart of this one. This is probably the first one I ever showed y'all. And it is Girl with the Pearl Earring. Just pull her out here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just, I love this one so much. And I just have not made a lot of progress. Um, the first time when I showed it to y'all, right after that, my dog had a little canine catastrophe. He got mad at me for not cuddling with him. And so he kind of swiped his butt across it. And I was doing it on a modeling brown, a modeled brown. And well, I couldn't tell if he left evidence behind or not. So I just scrapped it. And the second time, I just didn't like the fabric. So this time, I restarted it for the third time on a 16-count Easy Grid Ada. Let's see here. And I am stitching it in the hand this time, which is different. And that's just kind of all I have finished. 
And I would love to say that this is just all black background, but that, that's, it's a blended. Scarlet Quince, in case you're unfamiliar with her, or the stuff. I don't know if it's a man. I don't know if it's a man who named it Scarlet Quince or if it's a woman named Scarlet Quince. Uh, in either case, it's all a blended project. So the needle always has two different colors on it. I would say 90% of it's all blended, at least. Um, but that's like my favorite painting. And I really, really, really want to get some progress on it this year. So... I'm hoping, hoping, believe it or not, I'm, I don't have a lot left. All right, this is, this is my current obsession. I've been working on um, Coming to America by Little House Needleworks. Let's see here. Here is, which I'm sure a lot of, most of y'all have seen this. Isn't that, it's, it's awesome, it's great. And I'm doing it on 28 Count Color and Cotton Limited Edition Cashel Linen. There was no color listed. And this... This is the one that I'm actually, I've been enjoying working on it so much that when I go through my challenges, I see how I can make it fit versus looking for something to fit into the challenge. I'm making the challenge fit this. So almost every challenge I've done this year so far, I've used this one in some way. Bottom of it's curled, sorry. And I would say I'm at least 75% done. There's a skyline here that I have to do. And then it's hard to tell, but there's a sail that goes here and then some back stitching for the, the rigging ropes on the sail. And as soon as I finish this one, I'm going to actually start, I have uh, the women of the Mayflower, which I'm excited to start, but I want to finish this one first. I think why I've been kind of pushing this one. Um, my next one is a new start ish. I joined the Funky Menagerie Sale by Lindy Stitches. Part one was just released. And I think it comes out every six weeks. I think it's six weeks. And I'm doing on 32 count Belfast linen in pearl gray, which is this beautiful linen. Let me just take the needle out here. And I started it. I did. And then I realized I totally miscounted and it wasn't in the wrong spot. So I frogged everything out. So now I have nothing. But I'm going to still count it as a start because I did start it. And I think that if you have to frog something out, it still counts as a start. I'm counting it that way. I don't know if that's legit or not, but that's how I'm going to count it. And so I want to get that done before the next piece comes out. And the next piece comes out February 28th. Um, up next, another sal. This sal I've actually kept up on this one. This is the Winter Sal by Stigonomy. And every three days a part of it comes out. I don't have a cover picture to show you because it's just the pattern. And I'm doing it on what she called for was a 16 count Aqua Riviera. And I'll show you where I'm at so far. Now, I wasn't fond of the fabric because I thought the fabric some of the stitches got lost on the fabric until it kind of started coming together and I can see a little better now what she was attempting to do but I'm still not sold on the fabric color so that's fun and that's easy you know you get one every three days it, it doesn't take long to kind of pop those little motifs in and honestly it gives you a little break from whatever else you're working on if you need a little mini break and if you get behind, it's easy to catch up on that one as well. Can you believe it? I'm down to three left. Who knew I had so many? I used to be a monogamous stitcher. Can you believe that? Who knew I had so many now? This one is um, Temperature Typography by Stitch and Mommy. And I, I love this one. This is turning out to be just, it's going to be awesome. Um, it's, I'm doing this on 28 count. Cashel Linen in Smoky White. And here's what it looks like. It's her newest pattern. I think it was released in September. And it is on her Etsy store. Or you can check out her uh, YouTube. Because she shows this on her YouTube as well. She's actually stitching along with it as well. Um, the month is broke down into days. And the days are represented by the colors in the letters. 
and I think I'm two days behind, but I'll show you. This is where I'm at now so far. I just got the J and the A. It's going to be pretty, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a tie-dyed look, but it's all, it reminds me of a tie-dyed look. And that's where I'm at on that so far. I have to catch up with it because I think I've only, through the ninth maybe? Um, this one I have to blame Kim Hollenbeck for. In the nicest way possible, she enabled me. I was watching her videos and she's working on this one, which is the Templar Prophecy. And so, let's see, let me find the cover page. It's a long dog sampler. And I am doing this on 32 count Silver Moon Belfast linen. And you can choose your own color. So this is what it is so far. Is there too much glare? How's that? Well, that's better. And so I'm actually using Sulky Threads. Let me take this off here. I don't know what the color name is. I honestly, I don't know. But it looks like the color is 713. This is beautiful purples and blue, like a teal blue. And for this, you only use one. You, there's nothing to separate. You just use it as it comes off the reel. The reel? The bobbin? And let's see here. I do not have a lot done, so I'm just going to bend this over. It's going to be huge. Let's look. And this is what I've gotten done so far. Just the corner. Just enough to, to get a start on it. I'm very much enjoying that one. This back in here. And I have one more, which is my largest. And to be honest with you, I honestly feel like I might, I might restart this on linen um, because this I'm just not very fond of this fabric. Oh my goodness. This is, I'm doing pandemic on vintage nail arts, 18 count in um, sea glass, which is a green. And I think we've all seen this. It was for a while. It was free when it first came out. And I think, now it's no longer free, but it's certainly going to be an interesting, interesting stitch. I got a small start on it, and to be honest with you, it's so huge, I'm kind of waiting till winter time. Let's see here. I think it goes like this. There we go. Let's get all that out of there. That's my start. That's my great big start. And since, honestly, it's such a small start, I am really enjoying working with linen so much. I really think there's a high probability that I may restart this on linen when, next time I pick it up. And I can't be the only one who starts something and decides, you know what, I want to use a different fabric for it. I mean, it's all our own choice. There's no right or wrong way to do it, right? Anyways, I hope that you are having a good day. It's a sunny day here in Massachusetts and I have enjoyed watching everybody's floss tubes. I really enjoyed Flossmas and the whip parades have been so much fun to watch. Slightly dangerous because there's so many things that I saw that I really want to stitch and in my lifetime there's no way I can stitch every single thing I want to stitch. And I went from becoming a monogamous stitcher to almost a serial starter. So I would like to, I would like to get that under control just a little bit, but I'm still having fun. Anyways, I hope that the rest of your day is great and I will catch you on the next go round.